So, um, I met up with my brother here. Uh, he's called Cautious. He came around. He's been doing something beautiful, something wonderful that I've, I've, I've not been seeing a lot. And so, I was like, uh, nah, he's been doing something wonderful, something that I want to talk about on my channel. Uh, first of all, I was born in Nigeria. Who? Me. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? <laughs> you, you mess up. <laughs> Which part of Nigeria? I was born in Ondo State. You? Yeah, I was born in Ondo State. Which part of Ondo State? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so like 38 years ago, I think my dad, I've been wanting to ask him this question. My dad, he was like some years back, um, I think Nigeria was kind of like better than Ghana in terms of teaching work salary and everything mm. so he moved to work in Nigeria I think that is where he met my mom or whether they met here before they went or something and then funny enough they got there and then I think they got married and then my big brother came out from there and then so your mom is a Nigerian no she's she's a Ghanaian uh, but I think they met there right yeah yeah so um, he, this well, guy is telling us a funny story. So what is funny? He just this is, this is a real story. Okay, uh, what's up? <laughs> ask him. Ask him if if I've told him. Have I told you where I was born? Yeah, yes. Where? What is yesterday? Yeah, where? We are Bakan. Okay, you are, Bakano. You are Bakano. born at Bakano. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bakano is where I grew up from. Uh, no. Where, where, where okay, so let me tell you the story. Let me let me tell you the story. So hey, my, come. No, let me tell you. This now. guy can lie. Hey. I'm not lying. I was born in Nigeria for real. <laughs> so like, uh, like I'm saying, my dad, during that time, I think Nigeria was doing good. So most teachers mm. left Ghana to go seek for greener pastures or whatever in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes, I'm telling you, you can find out. Anybody who is watching right True. now, if if you're an older person and then you know this story. Is it not Agege? I don't know. Maybe I think that is what even brought up Ghana must go something. Because yeah. Ghanaians were supposed to like be leaving Nigeria and they were holding that bag and they called it Ghana must go, whatever. So like my dad said they, he and my mom were there. And then the car is not moving. Anyway, so I, my big brother came out from their marriage in Nigeria, and I also came out from there. So I was born in Ondo State. So when I was one year old, which part dad, of Ondo State? I don't. I was a. I was a kid. Okay. So, but you know, you were no, a kid, I'm, and, I'm you were, yet, and I'm now you know. Ask, you were, okay. I'm here to ask my dad where exactly. Okay. So when I was born, one year later, I was brought to Ghana to Bakano, Cape Coast, where I lived with my grandmother, and then. My mom died when I was one. Mm. So ah, I've really? never seen, yeah, so I've never seen my mom. Oh. I don't know how she even looks like. Yeah, I've seen a picture, but I've not seen like but she looks like me. Uh, yeah, you look real. like her. She doesn't yeah, look I look like, like her, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so like one year old I was born here. I've been living with my grandmother until she died in nineteen ninety nine and I moved in with my mother and my stepmother. No, my father and my stepmother. And this is how I am. So I would really want to visit Nigeria, go to Ondo State, and experience like you know, go to my pet, my pet place. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm active. Like I'm a Niger, I get a Nigerian vibe in me, the Nigerian blood in me. You know what I'm saying? So tell me, I've seen it. That's a cat. We have to hit it. So tell me your experiences so far, traveling to Nigeria. I mean, for four months, right? You want me to tell you about my experience in Nigeria, or you you just go straight to the point and say, Charlie, what's up for Nigeria? But don't so tell me that you a, were born in I Nigeria. I was born in Nigeria. And then for I'll show you. I'll whatever show you my uh, Shige reason, you are telling this story to people so that Nigerians could see you and like, ah, this guy is one of us. And no, no, no. You, I'm a Nigerian by birth. By birth. By birth. I know I'm you are Nigerian. confused. I know you are confused right now. But, but let's see. Okay, let me, let me call my father and ask him. You call your father. Yeah, do you want us to do that? Uh, call yeah, your for, father. For, yeah, for, for all those people. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to call my dad. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> My this dad, my dad has not been feeling well lately. See, this guy is confused right now. No, so I'm let's him. let's just understand him. Mm -hmm. But if you want to know about Nigeria, of course, I've not been to everywhere oh, yeah, in Nigeria. Oh, yeah. yeah, but the places that I've been is fine. Mm -hmm. I like, I like, I like where I've been. And uh, like I keep saying, my favorite, mm -hmm. Calabar Cross River. Mm -hmm. I'm here to see Uyo to see uh, really what happens over there. Yeah, but. It's a nice place. You know, when I was in Nigeria, I called you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I made you talk to Ima. Wanga, yeah, Ima. No. 
yeah and then what the impression Ghanaians have about Nigeria mm -hmm. an average Ghanaian hello, hello. hello there yeah good afternoon hello. good afternoon hey. yes good afternoon how to then half a way to be a Okay, ma me me be so one question be. I mean, what woman? Where where was I born? In terms of country, Nigeria. Yeah, the country, the country. Nigeria. Nigeria, where? Where in Nigeria? Ondo State. Ondo State. Okay, thank you. I'll call you back. Eh? <laughs> hey, are you sure it's your dad? You call. Why should I call somebody else? So I was born there one year that I was brought here. Oh, yeah. So wow. I get the Nigerian vibe in me, you know what I'm saying? The energy. You know? energy. Yeah, the energy. So, yeah, so you were talking about your Nigerian. So this, Amazing. Is, this, is, this is what I want to do. Because you've been going there, or you've been there once, I also want to make a trip to Ondo State, maybe for a week, see the place, see the people, maybe the hospital where I was born. I have to go and visit and say, yo! This is where I was born. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of vibe. Yeah, so tell me about your experiences so far, bro. So like I was saying, an average Ghanaian, you tell an average Ghanaian to visit Nigeria, they said, no, I'm, not, I'm never going to Nigeria. And then, and then some of the misconception people have about Nigeria is that uh, some parts of Nigeria, they eat human beings. They eat, eat human beings. That's, that's a misconception. A lot of Ghanaians, when I called you, when I was there, I made this talk to Ima, and then when you go on um, the, my Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, you see some of the comments. You see some Ghanaians saying that. That uh, is true. Uh, like uh, you've never heard that in your life. You've no, never I've heard never heard it. That in your life, that Nigerians they can kill people and eat uh, them. It's not Nigerian, but some way Asian. No, no, no. no and think... like, Ghanaians, some Ghanaians right now, some Ghanaians think they uh, think, but they don't know. They don't know, but they think. It's just an opinion. An it's, like exactly, that. that's what I'm saying. So you tell an average Ghanaian to visit Nigeria, they will tell you, and they and they see Nigerians to be very violent, like it's full of aggression. Do you know, I was scared when I had the idea of going. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because I, you know, much respect to the Nigerians, but that is the story that has been created. Exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, but it might not be true. Exactly, it is not true. So uh -huh. this conversation is to tell you that it is not true. But now an average Ghanaian would think, ah, are you going to Nigeria? Are you sure you come back? Yeah, I'm like, that's yeah. a, that's misconception. So grown Nigerian, up and all that. Nigerian then Ghanaians. Yeah, right now things are like being cool. Yeah, yeah because cool. you have information now. But there are those who do not and would never enter Nigeria for no sugar reason. It's never going to happen in their lifetime. Me, they're me, they're they like see, yeah. seriously, like I've been scared. Like anytime they talk about Nigeria, I get. I'm not saying something will happen to me, but, but what makes you scared? That's what I want to know. You see, the story is about scamming. Uh -huh. It's about I don't know a lot, a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Yeah, you, so you can pinpoint some of them, but it is not true. All on this continent, everywhere is dangerous. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. In Ghana, it is dangerous over here. Go to um, wherever any African country, it is dangerous over there. But then that depends on where you find yourself. Yeah, because. There are some places you're not supposed to walk be around, around here in Ghana. Time. Even here in Ghana, yeah. you're not supposed to be. Yeah. What's your business there? Yeah. yeah. It applies everywhere. So uh, you just have to know where you're going. I've yeah, been so in Nigeria. If you go to Rome, do what you You go to Rome. So you when you go to Nigeria, then you have to chew him on. No. It, because it's then when you go to Nigeria. No, no, no. It's just a misconception that you, <laughs> It's a misconception yeah, yeah, yeah. that people have. <laughs> people have. So we have to clear that that Nigeria it is, it is not don't true. Meet, yeah, not true. You don't man. eat. It is not true. Um, I have never seen any any sort of hostility being in Nigeria. Like yeah. I'm saying, I rode a bike from Lagos to to Calabar by myself mm -hmm. as a, on a solo trip, and it took me two days to get there from Lagos all by myself. No shit happened. It was mm -hmm. fun for me. So um, this video, I'm really glad this video came up. It is just to let you understand that some of the BS you've heard about Nigeria is not true. Uh, what is BS? Bullshit. Bullshit. Exactly. Say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But but it is it is it is a very great country, a very beautiful country. Mm -hmm. But then there are few individuals who have done really bad 
um uh the bad things they do out there it uh, tends to affect the whole country the, the good ones the good ones everywhere but it's really a great country that it, really if what you're saying is true you were born in Nigeria. I saying really. I you just called, called my a man. Dad. I know. How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know you've spoken to a man. <laughs> my 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 birth certificate yeah. is a Nigerian one. I don't have Ghana Ghana one. Last Bye. time last time Bye. I went to no 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 wait. Last time I was going to renew my uh, what passport. Yeah. Then they so took you have a Nigerian everything. passport. No, I don't have. I mean the 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 Ghana one. They took everything. I was supposed to be the next. The guy took my document. Was looking into. He said kindly follow me then they took me to their boss and then the boss said please sit down so he looked at the, the, the report the guy brought and said i'm a nigerian so they will not renew the passport really yeah i, I was like i'm speaking the fancy language well that doesn't mean i'm a Ghanaian. like if you use if you yeah. speak a certain language i was like no this is even my old passport so just renew it no 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 what shows that you were a Ghanaian? so luckily for me my big brother wanted my dad's passport and my mom's passport so i had a copy on my phone so i opened it then i showed it to him I was like okay both of your parents are Ghanaian. then he did it for me so i wonder maybe 10 years if i have to renew my passport it has to be the same but anyway so you're a Ghanaian nigerian yeah very soon i will come i'll be Igbo man let's go wait they don't give you any nigerian name or i'll be you let me let me tell you my nigerian name my nigerian name is igwe igwe so guys this is it um a lot of misconception about uh naira land uh i just think you have to go there and go and see go and enjoy i'm going back to nigeria my my calabar people my uyo people my lagos people Undo people, yeah. um, Abba, we are coming back. But did the base. Wait, wait, wait. Did you learn any any slogan, any Nigerian language? Word. I did, I did, but I've forgotten. Let me, ah. let me. I, I did. I actually did. Um. <laughs> <laughs>